You all know that there are edible bananas. So I, d I thought by myself, maybe I'm gonna sow some. You never know. And um, the 3rd of February, I sowed a row, as you can see. And then about, I, I think it's now two weeks ago, the first sprout. So these need to be, be repotted. So. I think I will do that today. I'm not gonna film that because I think everybody knows how to repot these things. Okay. I sewed the red tiger at the same time, but nothing happened there yet. Okay, next topic. Welcome back. As you all know, the 1st of uh, April I sowed a Mukuna pruriens. So that should in the summer should be like this. And oh yes, a few days later they started sprouting already. So this time I was lucky. You see we are sprouted now. And I think this one will sprout as well. So hopefully I will get three, four or five plants out of it. So that's more than enough. I will be very lucky. Okay, to the next topic. I think a lot of you have heard from the baggy mat methods and maybe some of you don't know what that is but it's, it's quite easy. So first thing you need is a Ziploc bag, something that can be closed like this or like that. Yes. Second thing you need is what I use is vermiculite. 100% or mixed with a little bit of uh, potting compost. What you also can use is um, Cocos fibers, Cocos peat. And the only thing you need to do is you take your seeds, you put them with the mixture in your bag and depending on what, what seeds do you have, for example, you have banana seeds. They need a little bit more water than um, palm tree seeds. So banana seeds you can keep relatively moist while this, these aren't banana seeds. Eh? These are uh, Trachycarpus nainital crossed with the princeps. And these are, are also palm seeds, uh, Wagnerianus crossed with princeps, new hybrid. So I expect those to germinate in about two months, maybe in a month. You can never, never know when. So that's the bagging method. It's not nothing special. It's it's easy. You can also use uh, uh, paper, kitchen paper, and you wet, make it wet, and you put it in a bag. So one last thing I wanted to show you all is take my camera off. So you all know that I work with a propagator. Now that's here. So it's made from styrofoam. You can easily make it at home. I think I made a video about it, but maybe it's not clear, but uh, I think you got the picture. So what's inside? Gingers. Hydicium sprouting of course. I have always problems with this one. This is what they call manioc. This is, this is the Maniot Grahami. It's, it has very beautiful leaves. 
but for some reason, after a germination, I lose most of them. I'm very happy that I have one left. So now we go to a warmer place. And this is what I've done now. So I used an old fishing fish tank and the principles are the same. So bottom layer vermiculite, in that layer I have my heating cable and on top of that in this case are the Musa seeds. Also the, the ones that I just repotted from the seeds are in there because the temperature, the temperature shock can be quite severe if you put them now outside where it's 10 degrees. So always be careful with your banana seeds and your banana plants when they are young. And I think I've shown, I've shown you this also. These are uh, spores from uh, tree ferns. These are Citea deabata, sown the 10th of February. And let me see if I can show you. You see it's green inside. That's good. That's the first stage, so that's okay. Then we have also, uh, I think it's Ciatea Cupri. These are, shake it off. So green. Also good. And last but not least, I sow Dixonia and mm, these are not looking so good. There are some green spots, I don't know if you can see them, but not what I hoped. But okay, they're not in the way. And I did, I did a, a trial, same seeds with for Michaelite and I have to see I don't recommend doing that so uh, that's it for today hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions put them in the comments I will try to answer them as soon as possible bye